Coach, if you could introduce yourself to start out with, and then your players, and then uh, your general comments on the match tonight. Chris Gatnack from the University of Tampa. To my immediate right is Berkeley Whaley, and then, uh, to my far right is Kaylee Patrick. Um, general comments, we got beat by a better team. Um, uh, very well coached. They will turn it up after set one. I don't know that they did a lot different. They just did what they did better. And um, we had a little, little run, maybe a little too late. So the fourth set, we made that run a little bit earlier. Maybe, maybe we could have pushed it a little further. But um, I have the utmost respect for their program. They, you know, every year, you, I mean, what, what can you say? They, they've beaten everybody, and, and they continue to do that. So proud of our kids, proud of what we accomplished this season, but it, it wasn't good enough. Coach, what is, a, what is it about Concordia St. Paul that makes it so difficult to play them um, year in and year out, especially since you've seen them as often as you have in this environment? Um, they've got some really quality players. Uh, the K sisters, I, I can't say their names, but um, you know, number three is, is an outstanding player. The setter is an outstanding player. Their middles are always dynamic. And, uh, and that's, their outsides, you know, I saw Brady this summer and uh, I'm losing my outsides. And you look at the kids he's replaced them with and they're, I thought they were better than last year, in my opinion. So that's a tribute to the, the recruiting, the training in the program. Concordia does what they do. They start the same rotation. It doesn't matter. They're going to do what they do, but they do it so well that uh, it makes it difficult for everybody else. You came out really strong in set one. Uh, what was your kind of your message to your team going forward into this match, uh, in terms of your game plan on how to beat Concordia? And then, uh, what was the what was kind of the turning point um, when it kind of slipped away a little bit? Well, we felt we needed to serve to win, not just serve tough. We had to serve to win, and that that showed early in, in the match. I thought they struggled sort of receive wise, which was a nice turn of events. Um, we also hit some some weak spots in their defense. When their setter's back row, she's, she's going to play up behind the block. And if we don't have a, a kill swing, we need, we need to place it back in, in position one. And we did that well. We blocked some balls. We attacked aggressively. Um, then we went through a nervous nervous twitch ourselves. We didn't pass well. The match became more real. And uh, they, they, it got closer, 11-8. Uh, we were able to, to keep going and, and doing what we were doing and doing it well. Set two. You know, I don't, I don't know if, if you don't have the ability to, if you, if you don't have to do it every match out and, and keep that game plan in play, I don't know if you have practiced enough to do it. And I, I think we couldn't succeed at doing it in set two. Set three, we, tr we went to a six two a little bit, tried to change it up. Set four, we went back to just playing, tagging, <coughs> keeping some balls in play, aggressive swings, and, and we seem to be back in it. Um, so. That's kind of how it flowed, I guess. Berkeley, Kaylee, would you guys, uh, maybe uh, one of you or both of you, uh, just talk a little bit about what your seniors have meant to the program this year? And you know, come to the um, they've been with me for three years, and their attitudes, I mean, it's unreal. We come to practice every day. They're always upbeat. They're always pushing us to get better. They never let us slack off. And they're just, they bring leadership even if they might not be on the court all the time. It's always that leadership. You can always come off the court and they're going to be like, hey, you're doing greater. Keep going. So it's always that mental aspect that they bring in that we're going to miss next year. I mean, they're definitely a core group of girls. We love them so much. And especially Kendall Putnam. She's the heart. I think she's the heart of our team. She brings so much to the team and maybe not even, she's not even doing it from on the court. She's on the sideline and she brings so much to practice. She brings so much to events that aren't even volleyball-wise. She's the heart of our team, and we're definitely going to miss her, so we're going to have to step up in other areas. What do you think you players think uh, you, going forward, coming into next year, what you've learned from this experience, um, 
your kind of your thoughts, your feelings going into next year, and how you plan to lead um, your team going into next year to try um, to get back here. Well, we're going to Europe this summer as a um, team trip, so I think we have a lot of girls returning um, playing wise. We're going to miss Holly. But Allie's been stepping up in the outside position. She's only a freshman. So I think this summer, I think we're going to have to work really hard. I think we're going to have to bond as a team. We're a pretty close-knit team. But in terms of on the court, we're just going to have to set our goal and not let nothing stand in the way of that goal. And um, use this feeling right now that we feel now that we felt last year. And when we're tired at practice or when we don't want to wake up early to work out, that we need to use that to just keep pushing us. Because that feeling is going to be, that's worse than, what we're feeling right now is worse than waking up early for practice. And uh, we've got to be able to deal with adversity. I mean, we're a great team when we're winning and everything's going well. We're the best team out there. But when adversity hits us, we tend to struggle a little bit. And we're going to have to work on fighting for every point from here on out. You saw Concordia earlier this year. Were there a lot of differences in those two matchups to this one? Um, you know, I, I think they played exactly the same they did in the first match. Um, we won the first set. The last time they, they played poorly in the first set. This time, uh, I didn't think, in fact, statistically, they didn't play poorly. And we won that set, so uh, maybe it will change here. But second, third, fourth set, very similar. Um, we really thought some players had improved enough to, to turn that, and the reality was um, they had improved, but just not enough. You know, their medals were young, and they've, they, they've gotten better. They're, they're playing with a lot of confidence. And we, we'd hoped that we'd narrow that gap, and I don't think it did. So. What, what is it about Concordia's program that has made it so difficult for not just, I mean, obviously this match today, but any team in the last few years to, to battle with them? Well, we need them to graduate more starters. Hmm. All, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you, because they <coughs> – I don't care why I try to sell my kids on them. We haven't won six championships in a row. And you're talking about a large number of kids in that program that just bring that to the other players. And uh, it's hard for everybody in the country. You can, you can say it's hard for Tampa. We've lost them a bunch of times. But look at their own conference and their own region. And this was the year they lost two matches in conference. And you think, oh, maybe somebody's got a shot. Get into that regional final, and guess what? Well, knob gets turned up, and, and it's tough to beat them. They have that experience to, to draw. Um, how can, there's just no way we can we can duplicate that. I can't. I can bring in every sports psychologist in, in the country, and they're not going to have that experience to draw on like those kids do. How they get that? I, I think the consistency in their program, the detailed, very detailed, and very well coached. And you got to you got to give them a lot of credit for for that consistency. There's no other way to, and, and, and great athletes. Um, doggone state of Minnesota, those kids either go to Minnesota or they stay home and go to Duluth or Concordia. I think they'd like to come down to the sunshine. Sometimes they do and then they leave and go back. So maybe a few of them need to come our way and uh, you know, get that little, little bit of Midwestern. Uh, we love our 40 kids. In fact, our entire lineup, starting lineup is 40 kids. And we think we can win this thing at some point in their careers with 40 kids. But Europe's important for us. We do this every four years, and I sure as heck hope every flight's delayed, and I sure as heck hope we don't get any sleep for 24 hours, and we go through all sorts of adversity, and we just find a lot about ourselves. That, to me, is what the trip's about, that, that forced bonding, and you just develop a bond that you're just not willing to. We won it in 2006 with a team that was not near as talented as this team, but was so well bonded, and the chemistry was unbelievable. So that's what I'm, I'm spending the money for, and uh, raising that money for. It's all part of that development. Thank you, Coach, and congratulations on a great season.